Welcome back to Panero's Mind, people. Now, we've all heard of Antarctica, right? It's that place where, you know, you just can't book a flight and just go there. Well, scientists claim that they're finding new species there. Hmm. First of all, let's take a look at the footage that they put out in the news. Check this out. Antarctica, a continent that has captured our imagination for centuries, this land of extremes is famous for keeping its secrets. A British team of scientists has unraveled a new one. And the scientists who bored a hole through an Antarctic ice shelf have discovered new species living in total darkness on the seabed. But the British Atlantic Survey's accidental discovery of sea life has challenged our understanding of Antarctica. One of the study's authors said he never expected to find such creatures living so far from daylight. And they found little sponges as well on this rock, and they were just dumbfounded because how... How could this survive? It's 160 miles away from an open ocean where it could achieve any light at all. Again, it's thousands of feet down. It's probably 4,500 to 5,000 feet down. They found bacteria, sponges, and animals with a stalk-like head, which could be a form of predator known as a hydroid. Now, people, when I see this clip, I said, yeah. I've got to talk to the people and let them know a few things about Antarctica and the stories that I've heard about Antarctica. But we're just going to cover a little bit right now. We're not going to go too deep with it, all right? We're going to save it for... We're going to spread it out over the next few weeks. And this, this is the start of it, right? So, they're claiming that they, they're finding new species at Antarctica. Hmm. But the problem with that is... Um, there's been reports before of um, different types of species being seen at Antarctica, you know, by explorers, by divers and whatnot. All right. So one that comes to my mind is um, the 14 legged octopus, which divers say that they encountered. And there was many stories all over the net when it comes to this. You can check them out. Like I always tell you people, go and look it up yourself. So you can verify what I'm saying, you know. Also, we all know of Buzz Aldrin, right? He's one of the guys that claim that, you know, he's been to the moon, right? But then there's other footage out there that claims that he didn't go to the moon. And I'm sure many of you could find that on the internet. But there was a time, and it was about four, I think it was four or five years ago now, I think it was about four years ago, he was visiting Antarctica. He had some serious problems, some health problems, and they brought him back. They flew him straight back. Now, I would like you guys to research what I'm saying to you, okay? Because there is a very mysterious story that comes with that. Now, some people claim he was just sick, you know, and he came back. Um, but a lot of people claim that, you know, he sees something over there that he couldn't handle, you know, and um, that's why he had the, the heart problem and he had to come back. Um, also, when he did come back, he actually posted this. So as you can see, clearly, he's talking about, you know, there being evil there, you know, um, some people say that, you know, he saw certain creatures that he wasn't supposed to see. And now, nah, like I said, we're going to take it in stages with Antarctica, right? We're going to take it in stages. We're not going to cover everything because Antarctica is such a big deal. You know, it's such a big deal. For example, what I want to tell you people is that if you want to really learn the realness of Antarctica... Um, this book here, the book of Enoch, is the book that basically reveals a lot of truths about Antarctica. There have been many things found at Antarctica also. Um, we have the long, elongated heads that were also found there. You know, be sure to research that too. 
And um, also when you get a chance, research the, you know, the connection between the Nazis and Antarctica. And also James Emerald Bird. Now these are going to be things that we're going to be covering over the next few weeks. And it's kind of strange to me because it's like, I study Antarctica all the time, but I really don't share it with the people. Um, I might have slipped in a little bit here, slipped in a little bit here in various videos, but I always wondered when there's going to be the time for me to cover Antarctica. And it seems to me that now that, you know, they're trying to put more media out on Antarctica, it seems to me like something might, you know, I'm not saying they're going to tell you the truth on everything, you know, like on what the deal is with Antarctica, but um, sometimes when they bring light, to these things we might see something in the future come out so um what do we want to do we want to make sure we get the truth right so we got to make sure we we research these things so um yeah there's a lot of things going on you know like they're saying they're finding new species you know to be honest with you they find species on the planet every year in the sea you know um but antarctica that's a different place altogether now, there's so much that I can babble off and tell you right now, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take it in stages with Antarctica, okay? So, um, after you guys watch this video, um, I love your comments, but don't start telling me all these things about Antarctica, yeah, because I know a lot about Antarctica, but Antarctica is not the type of thing that we talk about. And, um, you know, you can't let it all out in one video. You understand what I'm saying? But one thing I'm going to say to you people is this. Have you not ever wondered to yourself why um, Antarctica's blurred out on Google Earth? You know? Um, have you ever wondered um, what's over the other side of the ice? You know, them big high ice glaciers that, glaciers, glaciers that you see? What is over there? You know? Make sure you check out James Emerald Bird's story. Um... You know, there's a lot going on down there. There's a lot going on down there. And um, another strange thing about Antarctica is like um, all the top people in power, they all have a base there, you know. But yet still they're supposed to be against one another. You see, when you learn about that place, you your eyes will open up to a, a lot of things. Now, this, this might get blocked, this video, but you know, because they know, they know, I've been holding back on this. I've been holding back, you know. But now that they want to bring it to light, I will show you the truth in it, you know. So people, got to stay focused out here. And look out for the next videos that we're going to be doing on Antarctica. Make sure you research the story of Buzz Aldrin. Not Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Aldrin, right? Um... And make sure you uh, research the story of the scientist that claimed that Putin was the one that was um, messing with this octopus or, I don't know, they're trying to, trying to say that Putin was using it or trying to get hold of it and use it as a weapon. So make sure you um, research that story too, because that was also at Antarctica. Okay. So yeah, my people, like, share, subscribe. Peace.